Contender Regime Boxing, checking back in with y'all, man. What's good? So I was able to check out the Josh Taylor interview on the Last Stand podcast with Brian Custer. Shout out to Brian Custer. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, and it was a really good interview. It's, this was the first time that I've really heard from Josh Taylor since the Jack Catterall fight. Since, like... You know, him going on his undisputed championship run at 140. This is the first like extensive interview that I've heard with Josh Taylor. And he spoke candidly on a lot of things. And they really covered everything that you would want to know if you are a Josh Taylor fan or just a boxing fan that's been wondering what the hell's going on with Josh Taylor. So uh, really good interview. Go check it out if you haven't already. Uh, you did what I'm saying. But um, as you see in the title, the man said that... He planned to retire Teofimo Lopez. You feel me? They have a fight coming up on June 10th, which is a great date. This stylistically, this is a, a great summer fight. It's going to be action. It's going to be high skill level, at least, you know, from on Josh Taylor's side. And Teofimo Lopez, he got skill too. You feel what I'm saying? But, you know, he got a lot of athleticism and he going to bring a lot of flair in action to the game um josh taylor he also has a motor has you know uh, you know combination punches he's an exciting fighter as well um as well as a, a a highly skilled and high iq fighter so this is gonna be a really good fight man this is a great matchup i'll un i can honestly say out of everybody that's at 140 right now though it's some talented people some talented fighters at 140 um, you got guys going up like Ryan Garcia, um, Devin Haney will be up there in a minute, Tank Moonlight between 135 and 140. So including everybody, at least the guys that's actively fighting at 140 right now, maybe not including Tank. Um, I would say that Regis Progray and Josh Taylor, probably the top two guys. Not even probably, they definitely the top two guys. But after that, you got to have Telefimo Lopez somewhere right under that in the mix. Only lost one time, you know, um, you know what I'm saying? And was very competitive in that fight, if we want to be real, versus Cambosis. You know, that was a high-level, action-packed fight. And Cambosis came out on top, but he was very competitive. You know, they both dropped each other. So um, he also had, you know, some suspect victories recently which i know a lot of people probably looking at and saying like damn you know even telefimo lopez himself questioned himself and said do i still got it on tv people seeing this you feel what i'm saying so um he's questioning himself i know a lot of the, the fans and critics are questioning him as well with the sandor martin you know uh split decision that he got you know what i'm saying and he didn't look overly spectacular versus pedro campa either you feel me so um telefimo lopez even though he only got that one loss he got a lot he in a position where he got a lot to prove uh but everybody know he is a fighter to be reckoned with like you're not finna just go in there and just get a victory like you got some hot shit coming back at you which is what makes telefimo lopez one of those exciting fighters under josh taylor and regis pro -Gray. you also have montana love you got other guys in that division that's really really good fighter so josh taylor you know is coming off the jack catterall win you know uh, a lot of people felt like jack catterall won that fight i when i initially scored the fight i had it either a draw or if i was gonna get an edge to anybody it was gonna be the champion josh taylor you feel me because it was a such a, a evenly competitive fight both guys had their moments and I felt like Josh Taylor, you know, if you was going to give anybody vic anybody the victory, I would have gave it to Josh Taylor. But I would have called it a draw. However, he got the victory on paper. He said that, you know, some things that went on and, uh, you know, as far as negotiations, the fight got pushed back a couple of times. Then he ended up catching the injury. You feel me? Which... Once he got injured, Jack Catterall went on and fought somebody else, scheduled another fight, and 
Now, here we go. Josh Taylor, he has an opportunity to fight Telefimo Lopez. I believe this fight was mandated um, by one of the sanctioning bodies. So, you know, he's being in, in Josh Taylor fashion, just really being a dog. You feel me? Stepping up to the call, stepping up to the challenges. Josh Taylor has fought his last, he's beat like six or seven undefeated guys in a row. I believe six undefeated guys in a row on his championship run, which include Jose Ramirez and Regis Progre. Now he's fighting, an, uh, what? who is Telefimo Lopez? What is he, 18 and one? You know what I'm saying? And then the guy before his first undefeated fighter was only had one loss. So between his last nine opponents, it's two losses. Between his last nine opponents, mind you, Josh Taylor is undefeated. Between his last nine opponents, it's a total of two losses. That's incredible. So, you know, Josh Taylor is in a position where we know who he is and we know what he's accomplished, but he's still in a position where he got a lot to prove because of that Jack Catterall fight. Everybody feel like that was a suspect victory. People want people feel like Jack Catterall won a fight. And motherfuckers like, you can't go do nothing else until you spin a block and fight Jack Catterall. You feel me? But, of course, they couldn't make the fight happen. I don't think this is a bad fight for Josh Taylor. This is Telefimo Lopez, man. An exciting, athletic fighter. A lot of y'all thought he was going to be one of them guys. Once upon a time, I had a lot of people telling me Telefimo Lopez was that guy. Telling me he was going to knock out everybody and just go crazy and just be a god. You feel me? But that ain't what happened. You know what I'm saying? But he's still a formidable opponent. So I think this is a, a must-win fight for both guys. Uh, simply because it could take them. It could, for Josh Taylor, it can put away all doubt. You feel what I'm saying? If he loses this fight, people going to think, damn, he kind of falling out because he looked bad against Jack Catterall. You know, he said he was struggling to uh, to make weight and he was kind of drained. He was feeling weak. They're going to say, well, you struggled against Jack Catterall. Then you lose to Telefimo Lopez. Josh Taylor ain't got it no more. So this is a must win fight for him to prove that he's still that guy. He still he corrected Brian Custer at the beginning of the interview. He said Brian Custer introduced him and said, we have one of the top guys at 140. And he was like, no, nah, I'm the top dog at 140 get that shit right so if he want to maintain that title and that level you know what i'm saying and he also talked about going back and getting his titles and shit he gotta win this fight for telefimo lopez again he coming off of some suspect victories and he took an l if he take an l versus josh taylor or not even just take an l if he don't look good because he can lose in a very competitive fight and look good and it won't be no sweat off his back you know what I'm saying? But if he loses this fight and he doesn't look good, if he looked outclassed, if he looked like, you know, he didn't have no answers or couldn't make no adjustments or he was he just didn't belong in the ring with Josh Taylor, that's going to be a big problem. Must win fight. And I credit both guys for taking a fight like this because it let me know shit. They at this point where, bro, they want to fight the best. They want to prove that they the best. And these guys done had some little chatter little history, you know what I'm saying, for, you know, building up over the whole undisputed shit, you know, because Telefimo Lopez running around his motherfucker talking about he undisputed, knowing damn well Devin Haney got the WBC belt, and Josh Taylor had to tell him, like, bro, now I'm, I'm undisputed, bro, you still got to go get that belt from Haney, you feel me, so they got history, great fight, great matchup, Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. What do y'all think about this matchup? What did y'all think about the interview if you saw it? Um, I'm a huge fan of Josh Taylor. I really think uh, this guy is a, a very skilled fighter, you know, and he got that edge to him, you know, so he ain't, he not one of those guys that's going to back down, uh, back down from a fight when it get hot, when it come down to, you know, I got to have this round in order for me to be the victor in the fight or I need a knockdown in order for me to, you know what I'm saying, to be able to get in position to win. Like, I feel like Josh Taylor, one of those guys that's going to go for the gusto. You feel what I'm saying? So, uh, overall, balanced fighter who, you know, got decent defense. Um, you know, he's a, a good outboxer, but a willing fighter, though. 
You know what I'm saying? And sometimes he gets him in trouble. You know, he'll get a little bit overzealous, get a little bit reckless, dropping his dropping his uh his uh left hand when he throw the right hook. You know what I'm saying? Like getting a little reckless sometimes, but for the most part, he's a very defensively responsible fighter. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like I said, he can box, he can bang, and that's a tough combination. You know, when you in there with somebody that size at 140 because he's a big 140 pounder and he bringing that skill set behind it and he got that mental toughness that that's why he a champion that's why he is who he is and a guy like telefimo lopez who is questioning himself that shows some level of weak mentality which could not bode well when you fighting a guy like josh taylor they look for those weaknesses and try to exploit that shit you heard regis progress said i can see it in him I can see it in him, and I know I can bring it out of him. You feel what I'm saying? So, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Contender Regime Boxing. I'll holler at y'all boys, man.